Hello guys, my name is Yelena and welcome back to my channel. First thing, I want to apologize for missing an action. I had a little accident and I broke two fingers in my left hand. I had to do a surgery, so I couldn't do many cakes. But I do feel better now and I think I'm going to try to do um, just with one hand cake decorating. So we'll see how it goes. So I think if I can do it with one hand, you can definitely do it with two hands. So today I'm going to show you how I do 2D cake toppers. I cut them out of foam core, it's called. You can find it in any craft stores like Hub lobby or i believe michael sells them too so we're going to dinosaur and um, i put a little wooden skewer through his uh, foot so that's how he's gonna stand on the cake so let's go ahead and roll the fondant so he will be green dinosaur little tricky do it with one hand but I'm gonna do my best all right make sure fondant piece is big enough there we go so again he will be 2d so the back side we're not gonna care about so we're gonna do that one side first so it will be our back so i'm gonna flip him over and i rub him with just brush dipped in regular water that will be enough for our fondant to stick to the foam core and rub your fingers on the edges of the dinosaur here that way you can see the edges and cut the excess fondant because you don't need all that piece and that will be easier to handle too all right and now turn it back and run your wet brush on the edges and try now glue the edges of the fondant to the side of your dinosaur so but by weighting it down it will help with fondant sticking to it all right so you can do it with your fingers if it's tight spots you can cut a little bit into shape and you can help yourself with any your favorite tool like right now I use bone tool kind of little to help me in all the little crevices just like that all right and now take your I use my all-time favorite little spatula you can do exacto knife here go ahead and cut excess fondant edges from outside in so that way your edge will be nice and clean and again if you need to use any tool you please welcome to use so just like that so the back side is all nice Now let's decorate the front of our dinosaur. Okay, and I start with the parts of him that on the background. So I will start with his left leg first. And I'll try to fill it in. nice and flat and make sure your edges meet the sides and make sure you don't see foam core showing peeping through just like that and then cut the parts that you don't need it so we 
don't need it it will be tummy coming and the back leg so we're gonna trim the extra piece and make sure the edge is back flat that way when we put the body piece it will be nice and even for us all right and his right arm kind of in the background too so we're gonna do that next okay next we're gonna do the body neck and the tail rub your fingers you will see your edge and will be easier to cut all right and now make sure it's all stuck to the foam core and rub the edges make sure they all kind of melt together so you don't see many seams and wrinkles just make it nice so you help it with your tool if the fondant too dry on you you can always run your wet brush on a spot and then run your fingers over it or tool and that will help it with smooth it down better Then we can do the head part the same way. Just follow your shape. Then they'll do his left arm because that will be facing us, so it will be more of a 3D. the back leg we'll do a little sausage and we'll flatten one side for his toes and the top part where his hip will be make it a little wider
again work on his toes and make sure no white shows anywhere. little holes for the nose Uh, for the texture on him, I use pen. The one with the round on the end. And it makes the perfect spots for texture kind of skin-like. So you can push harder for more rougher effect or lightly for just slightly. But I found it's very... <laughs> I really love that effect. Of course, make sure the pen is clean. That's actually mine laying in the tools. So there is no ink in there. I use it a lot. All right, so just go along the spine and legs. Can you see it? And of course, this dinosaur will wear a party hat. So I'm gonna wrap around and I'm gonna make the seam on his backside. Smooth it out. For the eye, I'm just gonna pipe a little dot of royal icing and a little white spot for the light spot in the eye. Then I'm gonna use petal dusts, different colors, and I'm gonna highlight some spots of his body or give him a little dimension. So I have there a sage green, forest green, and cocoa colors and I'm gonna add a little and I think it makes such a big difference he kind of turns into a little life object <laughs> if you can say And I think a little yellow on his tummy will look better too. Gonna lighten him up a little bit.
There we go. So you can see that's his tummy. There we go, what you think? I think he looks cute. For the teeth, I just use again just plain white royal icing. Here it is. Alright, so I had a cake already iced. Go ahead and stick him inside in the middle because he's the only one standing on the cake. Then I had number to go to. Then I had some uh, green icing. And I don't like to use tips if I don't have to, so I'll just cut a little bit on the angle, like in the shape of a V for little grassy leaves to pipe around the cake. Give it a little something something. Very easy, very simple cake. Like I said, I'm working with one hand, so I couldn't do funner design. Put some on top. You can use a little brown sugar or a graham cracker crumb to put the little sand spots. You can always use Oreos for dirt spots if you want to. Just like that. Nice and easy. This is our cake. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you liked it. And I hope I showed you something new. Sorry, it was one-handed. And <laughs> I hope it turned out okay for you. And um, yeah. Um, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I'm so, so excited that you guys coming and watching my videos and seems to liking it. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Love you so much.